Victor Simen. I had a call with Victor Simen yesterday, mm -hmm. and thanks to Amajipini for actually setting that one up. And we spoke at length, and he poured his heart out to me. But because I didn't get the permission to probably record it, and he hadn't landed in Nigeria, so we couldn't actually do this. But I actually summarized all that had actually happened with Victor Simen. Of course, before then, um, Galatasaray did a video to actually welcome Victor Simon. It's going to be earning about 113,000 pounds. We, if they can actually help us with that particular video there for Victor Simon. But if, okay, if that's not even possible, let's quickly press it further. Um, there were a lot of things that were said, and he tried to correct all the lies and the claim that he was heavily betrayed and things that were bordering on slavery because there's been talks about slavery in football and it's unfortunate this was happened. Let's actually get straight into it. Starting off with the first graphics there that just actually encapsulated it. And this goes back to 2022 because Victor Simon actually had a great 2022, 2023. And if we were to start it off from that particular point, certainly looking at it, he said that Ali Lai actually came in 2022, not even in 2024. And they offered 75 million. Napoli said no, that 500 million pounds on nothing. That scared them away. In 2023, PSG came, according to Victor Simon, and he said that they said 150, they offered 150, and SSC Napoli turned it down. In 2023, they had a gentleman agreement between SSC Napoli, the club, Laurentiis, the president, and Victor Simon, that Victor Simon will get the release clause, 130 million, but that means that after one year, he will go. So he was meant to get transferred from the club this year. But the club did everything humanly possible to actually keep him in the club and tie him down to the club. And he said, things are not so well with me. Of course, PSG also came for the second time. 110 million they put on the table. SSC Napoli still insisted and refused to buy the cherry. If we were to press further than that, of course, in that particular conversation, he still went on to say, he still went on to talk about the fact that um, um, his mental health was heavily imparted after the whole um, coconut issue, the thing on TikTok and the rest of them. He said there was no going back afterwards. And things, things were happening within the club uh, ranks that he could not speak about. And, of course, when Antonio Conte came in, Antonio Conte pleaded with him that he should stay. And he told the coach, I love you. I would have loved to play with you. But things have deteriorated so bad that I cannot stay at the club. But the club went on to put out a statement that Antonio Conte did not want Victor Simon in the club. Of course, Antonio Conte yesterday night released a statement to that particular effect, just trying everything humanly possible to probably suppress Victor Simon. Of course, his denial, I mean, his defiance and refusal to play for Napoli and sign a new contract meant that he was frozen out of the squad. And he also claimed that Chelsea came in, and Chelsea and the owners that are hedge fund mavericks, so to speak, tried to swoop in and act like sharks like they do in the US which and just the typical hedge fund thinking and they were trying to capitalize on this they were already bidding for Victor Simon talking with SSC Napoli without talking to Victor Simon as far back as the 1st of August according to Victor Simon if we were to press it further and they were trying to do so much with Victor Simon without even including him then Victor Simon had the PIF come back again with Alali this time around saying that they were going to buy Victor Simon for an agreed fee, and they were going to pay him £30 million per annum. Personal terms were agreed for his daughter to get a school there, get a mansion, and every other thing in between. And SSC Napoli on the 29th found a way to scot that particular deal by insisting, moving the goalposts and insisting they wanted more and more. And they said they wanted £5 million more. Victor Simon called the club and said, I mean, called Alali and said, no problem, if they want £5 million, I will give them from my £30 million to just make this move happen. And Napoli said, no, they wanted the, they wanted the sell-on clause, they wanted more bonuses, they wanted this, they wanted that, and they ended up scuttling the particular deal. Of course, Al Lidl went on to buy Ivan Tony, and that was unfortunate. Then Chelsea, trying to become predators here, found out that Victor Simon might become desperate, and they decided that they were going to do something very, very funny. They offered him about $130 million, 30 minutes after that particular deal with Alali went off, they offered him £130,000 a week, gross. And Osiba said, no, that 43% goes to the British government. 20% goes to the NIS, NHIS, I beg your pardon, which is compulsory. Yeah. And you'll still take £20,000 of that £130,000 for image rights. 
How is that possible? What is now left in the salary? If you take out 43%, you take out 20% from another, and you now take out 20,000 pounds from, from, another, from deal 130. And it was unfortunate he said he wasn't going to buy it. And, that's, and they were holding off, waiting, and trying to press him through Napoli to ensure that Victor Osimhen gets desperate and takes this particular offer. And Osimhen said, if this is what Napoli wants to reduce me to, I'm going to call their bluff and I ain't going to move. I'm going to be on their wage, stay for three months, and let's see how that one goes. And on and on and on. And Chelsea went out, and I think according to them, they put out a statement there that he wanted 500000 And according to Mikel Obi, who was helping engineer that particular deal, nothing like that was actually put out there. It's unfortunate all that has happened. All they tried to do was grind a man to a club where he said he wasn't part of it anymore, he didn't want to play for anymore, and he didn't even want to have anything to do with them. He didn't want to touch the club with a 10-foot pole. But they insisted and said, you must stay and do as we want, mm -hmm. which is unfortunate. You know, you, 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 know, you know, ladies, I've listened passionately to Aaron, and the only thing I've heard is that he has more money. <laughs> <laughs>